Hey guys, how are ya? Happy Friday, everybody. Um, so, I'm here to be super excited and also apologize about Countermatch. I, it was a record-breaking amount of sales and time. I mean, it was, it was like, I don't know, 18 hours or something launched and it completely sold out. So, that is equally exciting and disappointing. I know there's plenty of you that wanted it, but... I kind of am thinking about my husband is like the ultimate Jordan fan. He gets online, he'll wait online, he'll put in dibs for online Jordans that release only a certain amount. And I, so I kind of look at it as like, well, the coolest things sell out, right? And this is definitely one of the coolest things that created a cult following before it even started with just a few, handful of people. Like I was one of the couple people that got to use it. Um, Anybody that went to Summit got a sample of it. But I kid you not, this sam we got two samples. <laughs> and just from that little teaser, got hooked on it. So, um, countermatch, I know I didn't really get to share a whole lot with you guys because we weren't really allowed to say too much before it launched. And it only launched for one day, so I was like, here's the information. Oh, sorry, it's gone. Um, countermatch is extremely innovative. It's extremely innovative because it's the first lotion ever to have this adaptive hydration, adaptive moisture. Um, you might be thinking, how good can a lotion be? <laughs> this is good stuff, guys. So what it does, and I don't, I don't, I don't even understand it on a on a chemistry level, but it can adjust to different environmental factors. So many things are affecting our hydration level, um, whether it be stress, whether it be hormones, sun, weather, pollution, travel. We all know kind of when we get, if we get back from Hawaii, our skin takes an adjustment. If you live in the Bay Area, to Hawaii, to Texas, to, to New York, all of the different environmental factors really, really fluctuate our skin overall health and luminosity and look and feel and texture. So somehow this lotion knows how to uh, mimic your biological needs and it can give you the exact amount of lotion uh, lotion the exact amount of hydration necessary um, at any given time and and recognizes all those stressors to perform it so it's really really optimal for sensitive skin for dry skin for combination skin is who I'm most excited for <laughs> selfishly hello because I am combination skin 101 um, and it's really hard to get that lotion that is right with people that get greasy in their t-zone and dry on their cheeks. And um, this does that. It can give me more hydration here and less hydration here and really create overall balance in, in skin health, which is very unique and very needed. Um, combination skin also doesn't necessarily mean oily T-zone dry areas, but it means dry and flaky one day, breaking out another day, uh, greasy in some areas, perfectly clear one day, which that, that is more me than the typical T-zone and, and dry. I'm more, every day's a, every day's a, a mystery. Hmm, am I going to wake out as my, as my hormonal breakouts on my chin, um, are telltale giveaway that that is, that is me. So I'm really excited to, um, use this for more than just a couple days like I got and really, really see my skin balance out. And I also, when I travel, I'm totally guilty of not eating right drinking way too much non-water and becoming dehydrated and then my skin pays for it for several days afterwards so this too will really help to bounce out it won't make me a healthier person but it'll make my skin look like I am um so that's why why all of us behind the scenes were so incredibly excited about this and people that were really able to get the message hi Sylvia thanks for jumping in we're able to get the message um were excited and jumped on it too. So it, it did sell out, but what I'm doing right now and what a lot of other consultants, so if you don't buy from me, buy from somebody else, what a lot of people are doing is creating a wait list. So you can either do a pre-sale wait list where you pay for it now, so you're guaranteed to have it the, right when it launches, or just getting on the wait list so you're the first people that we personally notify once it gets back. I mean, anyone in, in my group, I'm gonna tell you guys anyways, but um, I'll reach out and text you and be like, let's get this today. Um, so I will be taking a wait list. I do have one left. I, a couple of you guys had um, Venmoed me or PayPal'd me some money to get the ones that I have in stock. So I do have one left. If somebody wants that, just shoot me a message and let me know. Um, 
I wanted to show something. So we have this training video about countermatch, and I wanted to share this story because I'm a big story person. I love hearing why people are involved with, with anything. I love knowing what, what, why people are passionate about what they do. And so this is, this is Xavier, the man who created Countermatch, who is just this product ingredient genius from France. And he was telling his story about his creation of Countermatch and how he introduced it to Greg, which I just got a total kick out of. So I want to show you guys that video. It's very short. Um, let's see if I can even do this. Okay, so let me flip it around. And then, let's hear Xavier tell a story about Countermatch at the 2017 Leadership Summit. How do I make it big? I had a chance to meet Craig in London, it was uh, like one year ago. And when I met her, instead of bringing a resume, I brought a lotion. <laughs> and I explained, uh, Greg, okay, this lotion is very special. And uh, it's made totally differently from any other existing lotion. You should try it. And I think that maybe she'll like it. <laughs> there may be some good reason maybe to work together. So she tried it. She loved it. She get addicted to it. <laughs> and I told Greg, okay, if you want to refill, you have to hire me. Wow. And here I am. <laughs> So what makes Countermatch feel so different to Greg and others who have tried it? Well, leading moisturizers use ingredients like mineral oil, petrolatum, and silicone to make it feel like the formulas are doing their job. You feel the silky smooth effects, but in reality, those ingredients aren't working the way you think they are. Under the microscope, you can see how leading moisturizers show droplets of mineral oil that are sitting on the skin's surface. In contrast, Countermatch has a lamellar, which just means layered, look that matches the natural structure of skin. You'll also notice that Countermatch does feel different because it instantly absorbs into skin, providing immediate moisture. Okay, so isn't Savier adorable? I love his French accent. I try to imitate it all the time to my friends. I'm not going to do it right now. I'm going to embarrass myself. Um, but he's just, he's so, so exciting to get to be part of a company that he, he is, he is making us the definition of Whole Foods meets Chanel because he came from Chanel. Um, he worked with L'Oreal. He's from Europe. So he already knows how to abide by those standards as far as not using those 1400 ingredients. His grandmother was kind of the like uh, witch doctor in their old village in France. She was a botanist and just very into plants and ingredients and flowers and florals and oils and all of that. So he grew up very familiar with that. So his background is just incredibly impressive when it comes to ingredients and chemistry and product development, which is, we're so proud to have him. Um, creating products for us like Countermatch. And we've got probably nine, 10, 11, 12, 12 new products coming this summer, you guys. So, ah, so much good stuff to share. Um, now, the very end of that video, I wanted to keep that little training clip in there because a couple things were very important. If you saw on the the magnifying, or you know, the, the tiny, teeny, tiny version of the droplets versus the lanier, um, that explains to all my scientists in the group, which there's a few of you, um, how it absorbs better because it just absorbs into the skin rather than sitting on top of the skin. And I have had this conversation with several people that when they first switch to beauty counter, they feel like their skin's a little bit drier. This is because this is there, there can be many reasons, but it can be common because that that image and what she had said was so many people, so many lotions on the market give the allure or the idea that they're providing hydration when actually it's just a petroleum product like a mineral oil or like a petrolatum, which are both byproducts of the petroleum industry, oil, actual oil, not like healthy, you know, botanical skin oil, but oil sitting on top of the skin. So anything like, think of like Vaseline, you put it on and it seems, oh, it's moisturizing. It's not moisturizing. It's not adding a single benefit to the skin. All it's doing is creating a protective barrier and giving the topical feel that it's hydrated but it's not actually actually helping heal your skin or balance your skin out. It's clogging pores, it's not good for you. The nasty stuff that is absorbing is not good for our insides. So 
that's what many creams and lotions on the market give the tactile and subconscious idea that it is giving that it's super creamy it's very rich it gives the tactile satisfaction but it's not actually benefiting your skin so that that's really the best way I can describe it and I've had that conversation with several of my friends um, as of late and I think as of late because we are all, all going through um, we're probably all always going through hormonal changes but environmental changes with it going from spring to summer our skin's taking time to acclimate so it can be a little bit dry drying with the weather changes so that's one thing to keep in mind is is please I beg of you do not go back to your dangerous products give beauty counter a try get you know keep keep going through it and let's let's um, dial in the regimen correctly I think counter match could be a great solution to a lot of the the dryness issues but also maybe you need something richer maybe you need oils instead um, maybe we need a gentler cleanser you know one of, one of my friends I was like let's stop with the charcoal bar for a little while hi Amanda thanks for jumping in um, so that's oh hi Barbara um, that really described it well and I love that she had mentioned those couple uh, mimickers basically hydrating hydrator mimickers because they're not actually adding any benefit or any perk to the skin and last but not least I don't know if you guys saw the the picture that I had shared when I did announce countermatch so a while back I had showed the breakdown of the number one selling lotion date face lotion in the United States and it broke down the ingredients percentage wise and 25% of the ingredients were never list items actually causing physical harm to us whether it be hormone mimickers hormone disruptors potentially leading to infertility carcinogens um allergic you know triggers whatever um 50 percent was useless fillers exactly what we just talked about giving that satisfaction that feel that makes us think uh ooh, this is so nice right um but not actually benefiting the skin and 25 percent how to use was useful to the skin so out of that out of those ingredients 75% is bad is 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 doing absolutely nothing which was just appalling watching that so then the next clip and I showed it or the next the next image was of countermatch and a hundred percent of the ingredients used in countermatch is benefiting the skin there is nothing in there that is not um, helping us stay hydrated stay balanced stay clear stay clear I mean every single ingredient was useful and really was benefiting the skin so when they had announced that at summit oh my gosh people were you know when they showed the first clip we're booing we're so, oh no get that lotion out of here we don't want never list items we don't want useless items what a crock and then they show the counter match um list of ingredients which you know they're so proud of and really all of beauty counters purpose is to try and have only useful purpose driven ingredients um, but this was just a side-by-side -side comparison because that's when they're announcing countermatch oh my gosh you thought everybody won tickets to Disneyland people were just cheering and so excited and so impressed so it really is overall I mean the company is so innovative you guys know I want to like scream it from the rooftop all, all the time but this particular uh, moisturizer is really really gonna change the industry it's gonna get some major accolades so if you were one of the few people that did get to order it, congratulations. There's five of you guys that have samples heading to your door soon, so I hope you like it, and then you'll be ready to order when it is available in August. Um, I think that's everything that I have for you guys today. I just wanted to kind of go get break that down a little bit more because I didn't really get to properly even introduce it to you guys yesterday, and then it was gone before we could even have a, a real conversation about it. So thank you for tuning in. Happy, happy weekend. I hope you guys are having a great one. Um, we're going to be celebrating Father's Day, and we've got a little kid birthday party to go to tomorrow, so we are busy. All right, guys. Happy Friday. Bye.